Luna Classic's price is on a surge again with a 5.75% move upwards. We are also trending over on coin market cap once again in number one. Guys, I think you need to understand how big this is. Pretty much for the last week, Terra Luna Classic has been trending as number one on coin market cap, the biggest like place where people find their information about crypto, right? And it's been trending number one above even Audi, which is a huge thing, right? That's the BRC20. A whole narrative, but Terra Classic is trending in front of that. Now, this is big stuff. If we do jump over to Terra Classic, we can see today the volume is half a billion dollars. It was 1.3 or so two days ago, and it's about 43% of the market cap against the volume, right? This is big news. Now, I believe that Terra Luna Classic with this sort of volume can have more momentous runs. But of course, it does take a lot to move this because the market cap is already relatively large. This is, you know, what Casper was a month ago or so. And Casper has gone up 3x from where it is, from where this is right now. So there's still the ability to move these sorts of coins, you know, a significant amount. If you had $1,000 in Terra Classic now and it went up 3x, it'd be $3,000. So it's still a lot of money. And we do have articles that are jumping on the bandwagon again, the Luna Classic bandwagon. Is Terra Luna Classic going to zero after it fell 10%? Like, what, a, what a random article. We're not even going to go through it. But I did quite like this one. How high must Terra Luna Classic go to reclaim the $40 billion market cap? So where it was before it turned into Luna Classic, right? If we scroll down, the price, if it had that $40 billion market cap, would only be 0 0.007. So a seventh of a penny. That would be the price right now with the supply. Yes, with the circulating supply, understand the burns, but with the circulating supply, it would still only be 007, all right? So the people who think that it's gonna go to a cent, 10 cents or $1, it's not going there unless we have absolutely insane amounts of burns. Now, is insane amounts of burns gonna happen? I really don't know. I would love it to happen, but that's what's happening right, at the moment. Luna Classic is still up 86% on the week, which is incredible. On the month, 227%. Now, if you got in around here, what you could do is act as though you are an institutional investor. Institutional investors normally take a bit of profits. I believe that this is what's going to happen with Bitcoin. At some point, there is going to be some profit taking. We may very well go higher from where we are, reach 45,000, you can see here. But I do believe there will be some profit taking at some point. So I'm prepared for that. The way I've got prepared for that is by taking profits, right? Taking profits from the Bitcoin miners I was dollar cost averaging into extremely heavy. So I've taken profits out of that. I've taken profits from some of my short term trades. You can see here, AVAX is still up 1700%. We got DOT up 114%. And I have taken profits from these trades. I am trading over on Margex right now, which I must let you guys know that you can trade from anywhere in the world. No KYC, no VPN. There is no personal details required to trade on Margex with leverage. Of course, you need to check what's legal in your personal country, but literally anywhere in the world you are, you can access this exchange with no personal details, no uh, VPN required, all right? So that's what we can use right now. And if you use the link down there in my description, you can get up to a $10,000 deposit bonus. With that said, looking at the news, we got JV Diamond saying he would shut down crypto if he had a governmental role. Now, I think this is incredibly bullish, actually, because where was he when we were in a bear market? He wasn't saying he was going to shut down crypto. In fact, I remember them, JP Morgan, actually launching some crypto custody or something like that for their clients. And now all of a sudden we're getting bullish again. And who is he? He's back. Oh, crypto's a scam. I would shut it down. It's all bloody nonsense. This is bullish in my eyes, right? We also have Cardano surging, adding $1 billion in 24 hours amid a 100% volume surge. So like Luna Classic, people are excited about Cardano. Cardano hasn't moved really at all. It's really shown nothing a lot recently, but it could be a great time to snap it up if you are wanting to take advantage of something that may start to move. We did have a little bit of FUD with BlackRock spot ETF filing coming out, which addresses potential classification of Bitcoin as a security. But as we know, the 
SEC doesn't currently think that. So I don't think that's going to be too much of a worry. And I do want to remind you guys that retail, apart from you and I, in our little crypto dungeons, is not back. This is the search term best place to buy crypto over the last five years. This is 2021, this is 2022, and this is right now. Nobody outside of our dungeon crypto layers cares at all about crypto right now. I believe that the current market is being spurred on by retail and institutions, right? Retail being us in our dungeon layers and institutions like JP Morgan telling you that he would ban it and BlackRock and that sort of thing. So I believe that we've got a hell of a lot more momentum to go from where we are. But it would, again, make sense to me that we have some sort of pullback. You can see here, we can even look at the RSI, right? This is an indicator that you guys can use. It's a very good indicator to trade on long terms, right? I've made a video about how you can profit from doing this. But if we look here, for example, look at this top. It coincides directly with this. Again here, coinciding directly with the RSI hitting very high regions. Again here, you can see it hits a high region and then pulls back. However, however, it did miss this opportunity here. So it's not a perfect indicator, but it's something to add to your arsenal of trading indicators. Now we can see we are in this same region that we nearly always have a pullback from right now. Even here, you can see very high point, very high point. We then continue to pull back. The pullback was, we can see here, 20%, right? 20% and then it was a perfect opportunity to jump back in. Once that RSI went below 20, it was a great opportunity. Now, this isn't a perfect science. This is just opportunity. You can see here, we bounced back up. It started to go up. It didn't even reach plus 80 considering it oversold. Oh, sorry, overbought region. It didn't reach there and it came back down again, back into the oversold. And in the oversold region, exactly here was exactly where I opened my Bitcoin trade which right now is 1,371% in the profit, right? Exactly here, 26,100. Where is my Bitcoin chart gone here? So we can see here 26,100 was exactly here coinciding with this RSI. So that may be something that you guys want to check out as part of your trading strategy. That's what I personally do. And just looking at the overall markets, we can see the S&P 500 is actually near all time highs once again. All time high, where we are right now, how far are we off? We are only off that 5%, 5% off the all-time high. The DXY has been trending down recently, the dollar strength index looking like it could be pretty, pretty bullish. Now, guys, if you do want to stay up to date with what I'm doing in the market, come over and join the Patreon. The link, that is how you get the link to my private Discord. This is where I post my trades. You can see everything that I'm doing, the trades that I'm making. We can see here the percent gains when I get in, all of that sort of stuff, early access to my videos. And... People are really enjoying it, right? So what I have for you guys is if you want to come over and join it, first three days, you can check it out. If you don't like it, drop me a DM. I'll give you a full refund. No questions asked. And if you do want to trade uh, this market, you can do so over on Margex. All of the links are down in the description. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.